In this video, I'm going to teach you how to write electronic configuration of elements. Remember, electronic configuration is the arrangement of the electrons in an atom into the respective orbitals according to their energy levels. Arrangement of electrons into the orbitals according to their energy levels is what we call electronic configuration. Remember, the region of an atom where there is a probability of finding an electron is called an orbital. Now, we are arranging the electrons in an atom into the orbitals. It has a pattern. The arrangement follows a pattern. You don't arrange electrons anyhow. There is a pattern when you are to arrange the electrons in a given atom. Now, remember, these electrons are found into the in the orbitals and there are different types of orbitals. We have what we call the S orbital, we have the P orbital, we have the D, and we have the F orbital. Remember, among these orbitals, the S, P, D, and F orbitals, the S orbital has the lowest capacity. That means it is the orbital that will carry the lowest number of electrons. In the real sense, S orbital carries maximum of two electrons. S cannot carry more than two. That means you can have S raised to power one, you can have S raised to power two. When you say S power one, it means the S orbital here is carrying one electron. While here it means that the S orbital here is carrying two electrons. The power shows you the number of electrons the orbital is carrying. Remember, if an orbital can carry up to 10 electrons, it means it can carry 10, it can carry 9, it can carry 8 from 10 downwards. If an orbital can carry maximum of 2, it means it can carry 2, it can carry 1. If it can carry maximum of 6, it means that it can carry 6, it can carry 5 from that number down. So, since the maximum number of electrons S can carry is 2, it means S can carry 1. S can carry 2, but S cannot carry 3. Any number greater than 2 is wrong. S carries maximum of 2. The P orbital is the second orbital, and the number of electrons P orbital carries is maximum of 6 electrons. S can carry maximum of 2, but P carries more than that. P carries maximum of 6 electrons. This means that P is allowed to carry 1, P is allowed to carry 2, P is allowed to carry 3, P can carry 4, P can carry 5, and P can carry 6. But P cannot carry anything greater than 6. The maximum it can carry is 6, from 6 down. D carries maximum of 10, which means D can carry 10, it can carry 9, it can carry 8, down to 1. And the F orbital carries maximum of 14 electrons. If you want to memorize this, it's as simple as ABC. If you know that the orbitals are in this form, S, P, D, F. Remember, S means sharp. S stands for sharp. D P stands for principal. D stands for diffused. And F stands for fundamental. And don't forget that the shape of the S orbital is spherical. S is spherically shaped. P is double, a dumbbell shape. P has a dumbbell shape. D has what we call clover leaf shape. Clover. Clover leaf shape or you call it double dumbbell and the F orbital is complex in shape now if you know the arrangement it is S P D F if you want to memorize the number they can carry S carries 2 now the next orbital will carry that 2 plus 4 which is 6 the next will carry that 6 plus 4 which is 10 and the next will carry that 10 plus 4 which is 14 S, P, D, F, 2, 6, 10, 14, addition of 4, 4. Now let's see how to write electronic configuration 
starting with the question here, this question here says, write the electronic configuration for the following atoms. And the atoms are here on the board. Hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, and nitrogen. Let's start with the simpler ones. Before you can write any electronic configuration, you need to know how to construct the orbitals according to their energies. Now, it is as simple as ABC. Some of us don't know how to write the orbitals according to their energy. Like after 1s, the next is 2s, after 2s, the next is 2p, after 2p, the next is 3s, after 3s, the next is 3p, after 3p, we have 4s, after 4s, we have 3d, and so on. Now, if you want to memorize this, how to write it, all you need to do is this. This is how to memorize the orbitals, the one that comes after the other. Write one once, this is one, I'll write one once. Here, I'll write two twice, I'll write two twice, two, two. I'll write three, three times, three, three, three. I'll write four, four times, four, 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 four. Let me stop at five here, I can stop here. I'll drop five. Okay, let me just stop here. Now, after writing this, write one once, write two twice, write three three times, write four four times, write five, just stop at five, you can drop it fifth here. Now, if I have the next orbital, which is yet to come, maybe G orbital, I will include 5G here. Now, the, on the first row, remember we have S, P, D, and F orbitals. The first row here, fill it up with the first orbital, which is S. This is S, 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 and S. On the second row, fill it with P. P, 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 and P. On the third row, fill it with D. This is D, D, D. On the fourth row, F, F, F. If I have the next orbital, maybe G, I can now put here. Now, after constructing this, you make a line, make a straight line, cutting them, a diagonal line like this. The first orbital that will come, the first orbital you give the electrons is the 1s. When 1s is filled up, the next is 2s. If 2s is filled up, just follow the line. The next is 2p. After 2p, 3s. After 3s, 3p. After 3p, 4s. After 4s, 3d. After 3d, 4p. After 4p, 5s. After 5s, 4d. And so on. Like that. Now let's write this configuration quickly. If I'm asked to write electronic configuration for hydrogen, the first thing I'll ask myself is how many electrons are present in hydrogen atom? Remember how to count the first 20 elements, hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, uh, sorry, hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, sodium, and so on. You can recite the first 20 elements. Anywhere an atom falls into that number, where the atom falls into, or the element falls into, that number is the atomic number and that is the number of electrons present in it. Now hydrogen is the first, when you are counting first 20, it means the number of electrons in hydrogen is one. So I'm, I'm supposed to write how this one electron, in which of the orbitals is it located? Since it has only one electron, the first orbital you give it to is the 1s. As you know, 1s is the first, so when you write 1s, the power is the electron. I have only one electron here, I'll put it here. So this... Can we the marker we just for now? Which can we do this one? It's not under the... Huh? Under the existing. This is the electronic configuration, remember? I have only one electron. So only this one S orbital can consume it. It's not even enough for it. Remember, S can carry up to 2. Now, let's write for helium. When you are counting first 20, helium is the second. 
which means helium has two electrons. Chetabek, the check when you go to look on. Now, the two electrons here, how do you arrange them? You go to the beginning, start afresh again. The first orbital is 1s. I write 1s. I have two electrons there. The 1s here, the s I have here can carry the two electrons. Remember, s can carry up to two. Now, let's write for lithium. Lithium is the third element when you are counting first 20, which means it has three electrons. How are these three electrons arranged? The first one is the 1s orbital. Out of these three electrons, S can carry only two, remaining one electron. After one S is filled up, the next orbital is 2S. Now, this is 2S. Whether one S or 2S or 3S, what matters is that it's S. S cannot carry more than two. Now, I have one remaining here. That one goes to this one. So the lithium has 1S2, 2S1. The third one here, the fourth one here is beryllium. And beryllium is number four, which means it has four electrons. You start afresh again, one S. Out of the four, it will collect two. It can carry up to two. Hydrogen here collected one because there is only one electron available. But here we have enough for it. For it. So it will collect two, remaining two. When one S is filled up, the next is two S. It will collect the remaining two. Now we go to boron, which is number five which means five electrons. The first, you start afresh again. The first orbital that will collect is the 1s. Out of the five electrons, the 1s will collect two, remaining three. After 1s, we have the 2s. 2s will collect two again. Okay, so boron has five electrons. The 1s collects two, remaining three. 2s collects two, remaining one. Then after 2s is filled up, the next is 2p. 2p will collect the remaining one electron. So this is 2p1. Total electrons here are 2, 4, plus 1, 5. Remember, s cannot carry more than 2. As soon as you give s up to 2, stop, go to the next. Now, the next one, second to the last one here is carbon. Carbon is number 6 when you are counting first 20, which means it has 6 electrons. How do you arrange the six electrons? The first orbital here is 1s. This 1s will collect two electrons from this six, remaining four. When 1s is filled up, you move like this. The next is 2s. This 2s will still collect two because it's still s. Remaining two now. We have taken two, two, which is four, remaining two. When 2s is filled up, 2p, which is this one, 2p will come next. 2p will collect the remaining two electrons. Remember, p can collect up to six. Now, the last one here is nitrogen. And when you are counting the first 20 elements, nitrogen is the seventh one you will see. Hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen. Nitrogen is number seven, which means it has seven electrons. That is how you know how many electrons you are working with. Count the first 20 elements, know the number, that element will match. That's the number of electrons it has. Now, N is 7. How do you share 7 electrons? Start afresh. You give 1S first. 1S will collect 2 from this 7, remaining 5. When 1S is filled up, the next is 2S. And as long as it's S, it can carry only 2. Now, I have taken out 2 and 2, which is 4. I have taken out 4 from 7, remaining 3. When 2s is filled up, the next is 2p, remaining 3. And I'm sure you know that p can carry up to 3, unlike s. p can carry even up to 6. Now, these are the simpler electronic configuration. In the next video, we are going to look at higher atoms like calcium, scandium, titanium, vanadium, iron, the bigger elements. Please click the next video to see how to write configuration for bigger elements. Thank you for watching this video. Please do not forget to click on the like button, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.